ministre de la Défense et des anciens combattants, général de brigade Suleiman Dugure. The names of newly appointed ministers unveiled on live television. But just a few hours later, reports began to emerge that Mali's interim president and prime minister had been detained. President Bandao and Prime Minister Mokhtarwan have reportedly been taken to the Kanti military base north of the capital Bamako. The situation on the ground, however, remains calm. There have been no reports of military movements, but Malian authorities have yet to confirm the leader's whereabouts, and the soldiers' motives remain unclear. Two coup leaders, former Defense Minister Sadio Kamara and former Security Minister Modibo Kun, have been replaced in the recent government reshuffle. Speaking to France 24, this political analyst believes the move may have angered members of the military. The fact that the government did not seek the military's approval and effectively removed key members of the junta as cabinet ministers may have been perceived by the military rulers as a form of betrayal. Several countries, including France as well as ECOWAS and the UN's peacekeeping mission in the region, have called for the leader's immediate release, while the EU has condemned what it called a kidnapping. We condemn what happened in Mali during the last few hours, the kidnapping of the president and the prime minister, and we urge a return to democracy. The leader's detention comes just months after the military junta seized power, promising to form a civilian interim government and hold fresh elections. But there are now fears that the arrests could lead to further instability and compromise the fight against jihadists in the Sahel region.